Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having an e-bike. It could be a factory e-bike or the one that you actually build yourself. If you have a problem where the battery shows full charge, you start riding and all of a sudden it drops let's say to 50% and you have limited range and all of a sudden the bike turns off still it as we'll explain what most likely causes that how we can easily fix it without replacing the whole expensive battery all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience please make sure to stay until the end so before we start guys let us tell you a little bit about us every single car that we get usually here at the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we show you how to fix anything guys from engines transmissions and uh, uh, engine light codes transmission codes uh, bodywork all that stuff and why we guys do all that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos and uh, guys if you need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience where you can get them from so let's start on it now so guys now here what do we have we have that battery that's actually a 48 volt battery system all right this is the battery right here okay and our battery actually guys okay actually uh, shows full charged we start riding and we used to have let's say about 30 35 mile range on that battery and now all of a sudden we're dropping maybe to about eight nine miles and it shows that it's almost empty all of a sudden and it turns off unexpectedly so what you can guys do okay with a dc setting on your voltmeter you can start checking your batteries okay and here guys I want to show you when we start checking the batteries okay what what's going to happen now okay if we check that row of batteries we have 4.14 volts charged right we come to that part 3.6 and you can see how that's the BMS the battery monitor sensor charges that row of batteries right here one two three four five batteries so if I test each one of those guys, okay, let me show you now. Each one of those is about 3.6 volts with completely charged battery, right? Now that row is not charged. If I switch to the next row here, check this thing out. It, everything's charged about the same, which is great. 4.14 is really good reading. Now. If I come to this row here, the same thing. All of the rows show about 4.14, except one row that shows that we have a 3.6, guys. So what that means, if you look at it, guys, here, okay, you have that BMS sensor, that's a battery monitor sensor. Each one of these wires charges a certain uh, section of batteries. And for instance, that one, one, two, three, four, five, these five batteries, are not being charged correctly you can see here we have uh, five these fives are actually for that sensor on this side and each row of five battery is uh, separately controlled by, by by the bms so in our case guys what causes that is a bad battery monitor system right here the bms it could be that you have a bad battery itself but most of the times check the bms all the batteries should be really close together, the voltage. If they deviate, you have a problem, guys. And if it's more than two batteries with lower voltage, that means probably, guys, okay, that whole section of batteries will be bad. And the batteries are actually not bad. They're not being charged correctly by the BMS. So all we have to do, replace the BMS, and you're ready to go. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.